Well, hello. Um, today I went to uh, get acupuncture done. I've had it done two times now. And I um, actually got myself a TENS unit so I can uh, do electrical stimulation on my face. And um, I really felt like it was doing something when I had the needles in because um, uh, I could feel sensations every time they stuck one in, like, like a whole line of sensation. Maybe it was a nerve, I don't really know. Um, and I felt like, I might be imagining it, but I felt like my mouth wasn't going down as far. Of course, now looking at them, like maybe, maybe that's just more hopeful thinking. <laughs> but um, I also um, decided to go to um, have my head anointed with oil and prayed over by the church across the street. They're um, David's childhood church. And... Um, and they offered that to me, and um, I didn't know really what to expect because I've never been to anything like that. So um, when I got there, and um, when they did it, it was one of the most, um, it was a very powerful experience. It was very, um, very powerful. It felt very connected. And having all of these people around and with all of their intentions on you and um you know sending love to you and um it just it felt amazing that there was a lot of power in that in and the strength of the energy in that room um and it was a very emotional moment for me and um i appreciate red hill church for doing that for me and um and i do believe that i'm gonna get past this for sure i mean <laughs> and um I felt like I even felt sensations in my mouth as they were praying over me. So I'm just hoping that that's a sign that, you know, things are on the mend. And um, anyway, I just wanted to share a little update about that. But um, also, I'm just amazed how many lessons you can learn in a situation like this. And I mean, like, this could be applicable in any situation where you're going through something hard. Just any time that anytime I've ever been through something hard in my life, something good came out of it. Um, back in 2007, I had two miscarriages, and um, I had a lot of people reaching out and telling me about their miscarriages and talking about all of the, the things that they had gone through. And so um, I actually wrote a book about miscarriage and the, like answered a bunch of people's questions that they asked because there's not really a lot of resources out there to tell you what to expect when you're miscarrying and stuff. And so I did that and I feel like it helped a lot of people. I was able to give out about 2,000 books and, um, and a lot of free PDF copies. <laughs> and, um, and then when I was um, in the hospital with Elijah and I was on bed rest for two months, um, there was so much good that came out of that. I had so many uh, nurses and doctors that I became friends with as a result of this and they, their care of saving Elijah's life it really made such a big impact on my life and it, um, and also all of the, the friends that came to help me um, I had uh, one lady Heather Shields that she came and brought a scanner because I had drawn a picture of her um, the nurses and I wanted to make copies and she literally brought a scanner up in the hospital for me so we could scan it and make prints and um and my friend Elena had bagged up a bunch of our serendipitous books that we had made at the time to give out to all the doctors and nurses who had helped me which was so many over two months period of time and um each one of the, the friendships that I've made during those hard times has been an invaluable thing in my life and I, I think that if, if I hadn't gone through those struggles I never would have made those connections and um, I am just like it, I think every time that something bad happens there's just always so much good that comes out of it in the end and, um, and this will be short lived and later I can um, maybe be an inspiration to someone else who's going through something maybe not the exact same thing but something very similar and um, I always want to live my life in a way where that I can inspire or encourage someone else because I mean what's really the point of life if we're not encouraging each other so um, 
anyway, that's, that's my update for today. Um, tomorrow is the last day on my medication and I will continue doing acupuncture and um, I'll keep updating as I go because I would love to start seeing progress and see how it goes um, as things go along. 